Good morning, everybody, and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So we are continuing to just flounder about here at the top, uh, not really letting go. It does look like a bit of a flag forming. I don't like it. There's too many tails. So to me, this is barbed wire, which is confusion and a warning to stay away. Nice pin bar off structure that did form. And we do have German CPI data this morning. So probably going to be some that's going to be some kind of a catalyst that we need to pay attention to we do have diversions here price making a low so that is making a high and we sort of we're in we're in the range I mean there's nothing really we can we can discuss here so a uh, bit of a hanging man or an inside bar depends which way you want to look at it uh, for me it's actually meaningless right now and if you start dropping down to the three hour Strong move down, strong move up, and that was pretty much most of yesterday. So you can argue that that was a fake out of the flag. Remember, you know, when you're seeing structure like that and you have a break in the opposite direction, only a 25% probability of it continuing to the downside. We are in a, an uptrend at the moment. Oscillators agreeing. Moving averages are green, everything's agreeing except for price. And the minute you start drilling down, and look what happened yesterday uh, big move down, found some structure down there, and then a big move up. Take it as you wish. Um, oscillators group the upside again, and then you have the moving averages indicating we are in an uptrend. So, yeah, I'm completely confused. So, Typically, when that happens, we'd rather just sit back and, and wait for something to happen. Now, this has been going on for way too long for my liking. So um, the longer it, it sort of goes like it's going now, the less probability there is of it breaking to the upside and the higher the probability starts becoming for a break to the downside. But I suspect it would probably just be caught here um, at 15725 for a bigger range. So. That's kind of the, the view I've got at the moment. You look at the 15 minutes yesterday, it was all over the place. And uh, you know my decision to sit on the sides was the right one because there's no structure here at all that we need to be paying attention to. And I suspect we're probably just going to go sideways here until the data comes out. So if you just come back to the hour, the, the, the opportunities today, I, I, yeah, looking at the charts, 15.977 is kind of a break and retest, breaks the flag and everything else, and we start, we should have an opportunity to move the upside. Uh, I just don't, I don't believe that's going to happen, uh, just based on what's been going on since when, basically since mid-April. It's going to take something really, really, really uh, strong as a catalyst to actually move this thing and uh, accelerate the, the move to the upside. So I'm all of the opinion that you're probably going to see a, a deeper pullback onto, onto structure again and then another attempt to the upside. So this is probably in hindsight the, the area that we should have been paying attention to for opportunities to buy into this. Um, if you look at that, we've got tails on there. If I look to the left, you can see there's a 15-minute structure was there. So beautifully set up. And um, you can see pin bar, inside bar. Actually, not quite an inside bar, but uh, call it another pin bar. Uh, oscillators group to downside everything. Diversion from the moving averages, everything there. And uh, that was probably the move for this. Now, if it does break above... Uh, the high of yesterday that breaks this uh, channel or flag we just draw back out again so strong move up flag so if it's a really good set of CPI numbers uh, you probably find a decent break and then uh, probably a decent attempt to try and get above the highs of the last two days or three days should I say um, yeah we'll wait and see I'm not entirely convinced so uh, if it does happen, obviously, then we need to start looking for those longs. But that's the only time I'm looking for it is a break up there. But I'm kind of of the feeling we're probably going to see a bigger pullback, probably another attempt at 15.892, and then uh, 
maybe you know if we do break below that then I'm going to be looking for something down at 15.725 but for me at the moment this is sit on hands until the data's out um, you got time wait for the data have a look what happens you know good data and prices move and give it 15 minutes and you can see price starting to move up look for the opportunity to buy into it it could be quite explosive to the upside could be the catalyst we're waiting for um, or alternatively if the, the number is flat or um, well if it's flat I just expect more more of the same sort of more chaos up and down above and below the moving averages and if it is worse uh, way worse than what we're expecting then I would expect this thing to drop like a stone uh, and probably challenge this uh, 15892 so you have three options there uh, unfortunately coins don't have three sides but uh, that's kind of my feeling here. You might as well just toss a coin to, to get a direction at the moment. Anyway, that's it for me. Let's see what happens after the date. I hope it helps. And uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.